We're live from Tijuana, Mexico. Yes, this is the Right Arm Club. Yes. <laughs> right arm, baby. <laughs> okay, we're down here, and your name is? Eric. Where are you from, brother? California. Okay, now, now what'd you... I, I'm just doing this for a joke. He's got an IV in there, and I thought we'd match better. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, when did you first come, come down here? About two years ago now. No kidding. Okay, now, what was what we were you originally looking for? Well, I came here. I, I knew I knew you were gonna open up a pen over here, so I, I was just like, you know what? I gotta wait until you open up. I wanted to be your first patient because I was pretty excited <laughs> myself. And then uh, I think in October, two years ago, I just came out here because I had some little problems. I think you were in the first batch, but yeah. you've also brought. I mean, you've been up to the Huntington Beach one too. Sure. Yeah. And you brought your mom. Your, what other family members? Ah, uh, my sister, my my nephew. I'm thinking of bringing my brother in next, so. Yeah. Okay, now now people are confused. They think, you know, you gotta get um, the Voldemort shot or or oh. some kind of weird test or something to go in and out. Not true. Not true. And no. has the border ever been closed Never. in the last two years? I know, I know. This is the stuff that drives me crazy. Yeah. It's like, well, you know, don't I have to do, no, you don't have to sacrifice a virgin or nothing, okay? You guys can get down here, it's fine, easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I notice you have an IV in your arm. Yes. What, do you, what are you getting today? Oh, I got some uh, ozone already, and then I'm getting some vitamin C, some Myers, and um, probably something else. Okay, um, blood ozone, okay, powerfully increases the oxygen level in the blood. Pathogens can't live in it. So bacteria, um, molds, virus, pesticides, parasites, and when we see them in the live blood cell analysis, so that knocks it out. But after you get that, and that destroys it. Like right. we've done oral ozone, rectal ozone, blood ozone, and then we've done a pre and post blood analysis. And you see these cells that, that have this pathogen that just explode. Then you follow it with the antioxidant. Okay, and that's gonna be like vitamin C, glutathione, all the other Correct. stuff. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, so now, um, no problem crossing the border. No, what, no, no, no. What have you experienced down here? Like. Good stuff. I mean, stuff. well, first of all, the staff is pretty amazing. Clean area. I mean, the main man's always here when you need him, so that's always a good thing. I mean, just actually, I'm very excited to always get over here. To be honest, I mean, I'm down the street from you know I'm in Rancho Fontana area, and it's just an hour away to pretty much Huntington Beach. But I take the drive over here because yeah. it's pretty awesome. The food's amazing. Like I said, the staff's amazing. So. The, it, it Okay, everybody thinks that I might be fudging it a little bit. The food, honest to God, is oh, yeah. way better here in TJ than it is in Huntington. Uh, it's good. Yeah, no, I love I, it. No, I, I, I love, think, I love I it. It's I love better it. down here. I, I, okay. I love it. The fish is great, too, so it's awesome. And I was even mentioning to, to Dr. Jessica this morning, mm -hmm. down here when, when you know everybody shows up for work before the patients, they all hug each other. Okay? Oh, yeah, a lot of love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's genuine. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. I'm not used to that because I'm a worker, not a hugger. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, I do hug people every yeah, day yeah. when I'm adjusting them, but yeah. but okay. Now, now you you're totally a different mindset. I mean, you take charge of your health. Correct. You're not doing drugs, and you're a practical mind. You don't think that a pain or a symptom is needed that that you need a drug or surgery. Never. No. Well, who taught you this? Because this is a weird mindset with with the. Brain yeah, control. I've been I've been on this mindset for about 15 years, you know, and I've been right behind you and uh, just learning, you know, just just getting all this information and just connecting the dots and okay. and just this natural way is always the best way. OK, your mom is a patient. Yes. OK, did, what started you on this pathway? Why are you not programmed like like where where the rest of the public like, or the majority is saying symptom drug, symptom drug? Well, I just give it to my creator, you know, so he gives me the mindset first, you know, and uh, a lot of meditation, stuff like that, and just know the best way is always the natural way. So, you know. Okay, think of this. Is the body self-healing? Is there an intelligence inside the body? Are you made in the image and likeness of God? I like that. That's a pretty cool idea. Yeah. I would go with that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, anybody that's that's confused and scared and hurt, what, what could you tell them? <sighs> to slow the breaks down, first of all, and everything's going to be good. You know, I, I, I felt the same way, kind of panicky, 
stuff like that. And I just had to slow it all down and just think about what was important in life. And uh, I get emotional because it's been a long path for me. And uh, it's, but it's, you know what? Life's a journey and it's a beautiful struggle. And yeah, I just, I just love this journey. You know? Yeah, I, I was I was told God never does anything to you; He does everything for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's a hard lesson. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> now looking back at at all this, is I feel amazing. I feel really good. Oh, thank God. Okay, take advice from yourself. Look in the mirror. You are made in the image and likeness of God. If you're not religious. If you're not spiritual, you're more energy than matter, and energy can't be created or destroyed. So there's parts of you, baby, that are eternal. Just right. know your body is smart. It gives symptoms for a reason. And the reason I've never seen people lacking enough drugs or lacking surgery or lacking shots. Take care of your body. Get your butt down here, and we'll fix you. Take care, guys. God bless you. Bye.